Thanks for joining us in the Navigant Credit Union Broadcast Center. I'm Molly O'Brien. This is Tyler James Kelly from the Silks Providence Based Band. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. So we've had an exciting day talking about nutrition, uh, reptiles, and now we have some live music. So um, I know it's been quite a whirlwind. So talk to me just a little bit about your music. Um, you've often described yourself. I'm going to let you describe your band. Okay. Um, we play blues rock and roll with a little bit of a twang uh, uh, flair. So, um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, I like that. So your music, I've been listening to it for quite some time, uh, really has quite a bit of breadth and soul in it and um, some edge. I Thank like you. it. Thank you. It's good. So for people who haven't heard you before, what can people expect, whether they're listening to the album or, or any of your music, any of the albums, or if they head out to a show? Uh, we try to um, we try to always keep the dance factor part of the songs. I feel like that's been a lost thing um, with live music in general. Um, when you're coming out to see a show, it's about having a good time, kind of release, you know, get off your phones, maybe dance a little bit, um, let your hair down, you know. So we try to always remind ourselves when we're writing, it's all about the group. And whatever that group may be, just try to find that and keep it. So. I like that. It's all about the group. So important for you to write uh, original music and play original music, which I think is pretty cool because you see a lot of musicians out there that are just kind of covering other people's stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, when you're writing music, where are you pulling inspiration from? Uh, kind of all over. Um, I'm just a sucker for a good song. I mean, I don't care if it's pop or whatever it is. I mean, at home I have a lot of classic country albums. I like to pick on that because it's really hard to play that stuff. So the challenge is really fun. Um, but just about anything, any music really that uh, I hear inspires me. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. It's not easy to write a good song, I'll tell you that. It is not. <laughs> it is not. <laughs> Some days I'm like, is it today? Do I get another one today? And, you, know, you gotta wait for it. So. Do you feel like you've really found kind of a groove yet? Do you feel like you guys are coming together and, and you're there, you're getting there? I do think this year is a good, a good year. Um, we've been, I've been writing a lot and I'm actually going to play a new song for you today that is really exciting that no one's heard. So um, we're really pumped on it. Yes, we love that. Yeah. We love that. So before we get to that, because we do have a couple minutes to yep. chat, I want to talk to you just a little bit about how the band came together. Um, you're a Providence-based band, mm -hmm. that's what you, you say. Um, how'd you guys get to know each other? Um, well, I've had a, a couple of incarnations. Um, that's how it goes, you know. It's kind of how the music world works, yeah, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, you live and learn, and, and also, you know, just people get along sometimes. And, and uh, it's not, I mean, living in a van is not uh, cohesive for everyone. You know, it's not, a, it's not an easy thing to do. But um, we found Sam, who's been playing drums with us for almost two years now, in Boston. So that's been cool. He's been coming back and forth. And we might be adding another player soon, another one from Boston, a very seasoned guitar player. Cool. So he's very good. He's played with a lot of people. We'll see. There's a lot. Uh, we've been very busy this year. Making the next move. Next year we'll probably be back on the road for a while. Cool, bringing the music everywhere. Um, and Jonas is our bass player. He's been, he's my brother. He's been there since day one. So I like that. Um, and you have earned quite a, a bit of recognition. Um, best rock band at the Motif Music Awards 2015 and 2016. So that's pretty cool. And 2016 Boston Music Award Blues Artist of the Year. What's it like just to get that recognition? That was kind of a surprise. We went to that event. It was at the House of Blues, and uh, there were heavy hitters that we were sitting next to. Um, so it was kind of amazing for us to be like, "Wow!" I mean, we really um, we didn't see it coming, uh, obviously because we're from Providence, but we play Boston all the time. But not being, you know, a Boston band and getting that was uh, really nice. All the votes and all the people who fought for us for that was really nice. Really cool. I mean, uh, I went online and looked up who won in the past, which I didn't. Some big name, yeah. Yeah, like Susan Tedeschi, Derek Trucks, so people I look up to very much. So uh, it was very, very cool. 
Nice to be able to have that, add that to the list, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we need it. With all the help we can get, so. I like that. Um, so you do have a couple shows coming up. You're playing tomorrow at Bold Point Park, and then you're headlining at the Met um, end of September. Uh, so that's pretty cool. So you have those two things along with numerous other shows, looking at your mm -hmm. schedule. What's kind of the priority? Uh, you released an album just over a year ago. Um, but what's the kind of the priority? You said you've been busy and we're going to hear a new song from you. What's the priority as you come up over the next year? So it's the end of September, we're going to be releasing our live album, which is cool. will be our first live album. Awesome. Um, so that's like kind of a, a kudos to people who have been following us for a while, coming out to the shows and they, they love it live. Because we do try to separate or extend a little bit from the album, make it more fun. Um, something that you haven't heard maybe on the album. We keep a couple of pieces uh, a little bit more free form, uh, so whatever we feel like coming up with at that time. Not a jam band per se, but you know what I mean, that little section will keep it free for everybody. I feel like that keeps things fresh totally. for the listener or even uh, the fan that's come out to see us seven times, you know, it's like, it's great for them that they still feel that freshness um, in the show. I love that. I feel like anytime you can listen to live music, recorded live music, it just adds that feeling, especially for the fans who've been to the shows, it kind of re just recaptures, like, yeah. oh, I was there, and you know, I feel it, and just, just hearing that live music caught, it just adds that, um, it just adds that special element, and you told me that your live shows are just, are wild, do you, you don't yeah. take breaks. No, yeah, three hours, it's, it's like running a marathon, I mean. I always joke about like someday having scientists hook us up with the brain scan, see what's going on in there while we're doing this, and just because I mean maybe someday, but it'd be, <laughs> kind, of, it'd be kind of interesting to see what's happening. Oh, totally. Because we do like just full on, don't drop the energy, keep it up, and it usually works best when you know you the tug and pull from the audience when they're into it. It's like. You don't even know that it's been three hours anyway because they're just having fun and that's why we're here so low budget version wear a fitbit yeah <laughs> yeah we joke about that too get everybody swipe in just, <laughs> yeah just take at it yeah. um so i'm gonna step out of the way so we can hear right on. uh but the, one of your newest songs i'm gonna get out of the way tyler james kelly of the silks uh what are you gonna play for us uh the song is called out of my hands okay, awesome Break. 
breaking my heart It's out of my hands Tearing me apart from you guys tomorrow it's gonna be a good 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 day yeah it's gonna be a super nice out and uh there's gonna be a ton of barbecue and um, <laughs> i'm looking forward to that <laughs> um uh there's gonna be a lot of surprises from us we're playing about <clears throat> 40 minutes 45 minutes way yeah. different than your normal three hours <laughs> yeah yes yeah, so we're trying to consolidate it for you which which is fine we do that normally when we open up for big dogs and whatnot like these uh, these guys. Um, so we got two new songs. We'll be playing that one. Another one called Up to No Good. Cool. And uh, yeah, a couple surprises. I got my buddy Johnny's coming down to play some guitar. So no, uh, a lot of fans of ours haven't seen us with another guitar player, and he is just unbelievable. And we get to kind of go tit for tat a little bit. Um, it's it's been fun playing with him. So he's been a secret for a little while until this show. So it's kind of nice so in that sense. Loose. Yeah, yeah, we'll have some fun and just rock out. I like it. Make people happy. I like it. That's what it sounds good. It sounds good. Well, thank you so much for joining us. This 